While working on a React project, I stumbled upon some types in the types React repository, which I thought could be improved a little bit. Let me show you how I made these types easier to reason about, less error prone, and more concise by removing over 100 type definitions while still maintaining the exact same type safety as before by using some awesome TypeScript features. Let's get started. So the first React type I will try to make more concise and less error prone is the DOM attributes interface. When we scroll down here a little bit, we can see that we have many event handlers in there, like all the event handlers for different DOM events, clipboard events, for composition events, focus events, and so on. And when we scroll down here a little bit, we can see that we have a pattern which repeats itself quite often. So almost always, we also have a corresponding capture for our normal event handler on input, on input capture, on reset, on reset capture, and so on. When we scroll down here, we can see this just repeats itself over and over. Of course, there are some edge cases where this is not the case, but we will go through them later. Now, when I see such patterns where we have like a prefix, which stays the same, and then we just add the same suffix for many different properties or many different types, this really screams at me that we should derive these suffix types. So let me show you what I attempted. I already prepared something, so let's open the project viewer. We can see here we have this old index.dts file. This is the file we are currently looking at, but we also have this index.dts file, which I updated. So let's just open this and let's see what changed in there. So we can see here we have the same interface DOM attributes, but this interface changed a little. This interface fits into one screen because in here we only have the special cases for our DOM attributes. So for example, this on toggle and on before toggle does not have a capture and this on before input and on before input capture also don't have the same event handler types. And I also did not want to lose any comments, for example, here deprecated. So I left these also in here. Now we also can see on mouse enter, on mouse leave also don't have a capture event, the same for on pointer enter and on pointer leave. But where are now all these other types? Some of you maybe have already spotted it. When I scroll up here, we can see this interface extends DOM events with capture. Now, when I click on this, we can see that this is a new type I've created. Now what I did is I just extracted all these on event handlers from the existing DOM attributes interface, but I removed all the ones with the capture suffix. So of course you are now thinking, well, this is more concise, but we have lost all these capture type definitions and you're absolutely right. So let's just add them back. So how do we do this? Let's go back into where we use these DOM events with capture and let's create a new type here. Let's call this type with capture and we just make this a generic type where we can pass a type to it. And now we will use mapped types to dynamically add these capture event handlers to our existing DOM events with capture. Basically what we are doing is we loop over all the existing properties of our DOM events with capture and then we will for each of the properties create a derived one with a capture suffix. So how do we do this? We create here a new object type and then we use our bracket annotation for the key and we say key has to be in key of T. This will create a union of all the property keys of the type we pass. And then as a value, we just use index access and we say we want to access the type for the key of this object we pass in here. Now, currently, of course, we did not change anything. We just loop over the keys of our T type and just create a new type from it. So how do we change that? How do we derive these declarations with the capture suffix? Well, we can use the key here and manipulate it. And this can be done by using S. So we say here key in key of T as, and now we can manipulate our key. What we still want to have, of course, is the normal property. So we want to have the key itself. But now we can say we want to have the key or so we create a union and now we use template literals. So we use backticks here and in here we now can define the shape of our new key. So we can use dollar sign and the curly braces and we use key in here. And as a suffix, we want to have capture. And by using this, we now looped over all the properties of the type we pass in here. And for all the key, we also create a second type, which has exactly the same property key, but we just append capture to it. So maybe this looks a little bit strange and too good to be true, but let me show you that this is really working. So what we do is we just wrap our DOM events with capture in our with capture type. So we have our with capture here. We then wrap our DOM events with capture in it and we are done. And we can see here there is no error. So let's see if this is working. So let's declare a new variable and let's say this is our etcher variable and this is of type 
DOM attributes and we leave it as any because this does not really matter right now. And now we can see what kind of properties is in this DOM attributes. So let's say we have Etcher here and let's use on mouse. And we can see here we have on mouse down, on mouse move, leave and so on. But we also have on mouse down capture, on mouse move capture, on mouse out capture and so on. But we have not defined it anywhere in our code. We just derived it with these three lines of code by using a union of our key and by using template literals with this capture suffix and our key as our prefix. So by using this approach here, we saved over 70 lines of type code by just deriving them by using this approach here with our with capture type. And I also think this is not only more concise, but also easier to reason about. Because when we check this interface DOM attributes here, now we can clearly see that these cases we have specified in here are like custom ones or special ones, which are not the same as the others. And we can also clearly see that it is intended that some of them don't have captures or that they are deprecated or that they have different values. And when we add another property, we don't have to remind to add the capture ourselves. If we want a new event handler to also have the corresponding capture, we just add it in our DOM events with capture. And of course we can add a comment that in here we don't have to add the capture ourselves. but I think this code is really easy to reason about and also easy to understand. Now of course everyone has a different taste, maybe you like the explicit approach much more, let me know in the comments. Now, as of now, you maybe have seen that template literals are extremely powerful. And in the React type system, there are other places where we can also leverage template literals to make types less error prone. So let me show you what I mean. Let's open the project view again and let me show you a git diff how the types looked earlier and how they look after my change. So let's just open the index.dts file here. And on the left side, of course, there is the file before my changes. On the right side, there is the file after my changes. So the change I wanted to show you is in the autofill section. So let's go there. Let's type autofill here. So as you can see here, I did a change in autofill contact field. Now, what did I change? Let's scroll up a little bit and we can see here we have this tell area code, tell country code, tell extension and so on. All of them start with tell and then have a different suffix. Now I don't really like to type these all over again. So what I did is I also use template literals. So we can see here we have the same tell here and then we also have the tell prefix and then I use the dollar sign with the curly braces and in here we can just add a union of all the possible suffixes like area code, country code, extension and so on. And by using this approach, we don't have to repeat ourselves all the time. So of course, tell is quite a short string, so it's not that easy to make a mistake by spelling it. But let's see where this could be much more often the case. When I scroll down here, we can see we have this autofill normal field. And we have here address level 1, address level 2, 3, 4, and we have address line 1, 2, 3. I again use template literals. I use the prefix of address level. And then I just used 1, 2, 3, 4 here as a union so that we don't have to copy this four times. This also makes it really easy to just add another one to it without having to copy the whole line if you want to add, for example, an address level 5. Now the same thing you can also of course do for address line here instead of address line 1, 2, 3 explicitly, you can let TypeScript create this for you. And I really love that TypeScript is able to do this because this makes also other stuff easier. For example here, bday, we can also write in the same way. We have the bday prefix and then we have day, month and year as a union. Or cc here and then we have all the suffixes here as a union without having the need to add the union like this. Now, as mentioned, this is just a matter of taste. If it is for you harder to reason about when it's written in this union way, then of course, leave it as it is. TypeScript types should help you to easier understand your code. But for me personally, I really like to do this even for stuff like honorific prefix, honorific suffix, where we have this honorific prefix, and then we have either a prefix or suffix as a suffix. So thank you for watching the video. Let me know in the comments if you like the changes I made or if you absolutely hate them or if you would have done something different than I did. And also if you enjoyed watching the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for the newest TypeScript stuff. And also let me know in the comments what kind of topic you'd like to have covered in future videos. See you in the next one. Bye.